Now, after putting in countless number of hours into your application and nailing every single aspect, your GMAT or GRE exam, the personal statement, the entire application file, everything, you finally get shortlisted for an interview. How would you now feel if you screw up that interview and get that rejection? Terrible, right? But that happens with a lot of students. After the first shortlisting round, everyone is given a few days to prepare and then the interview process begins. And then we have the second round of shortlisting. Hello and welcome back to the channel guys. If you're new here, hi, my name is Arif and I'm a second year student enrolled at SEC Business School for the Grand Ecole MIM program. And today's video is all about how to ace that college interview so that you can get admission into your dream B school. So for this one, I have categorized the video into two different sections. First, the basics of the interview and second, the must do's and don'ts of the interview. So without wasting any further time, let's hop into the first section. Now to start off with the basics of an interview, let me just start with something that probably all of us know but don't take into consideration when it comes to our own interview process. Rather than being anxious about the whole interview process and how long it will go, just think of it as a casual conversation happening between a group of people. And in the context of this business school interview, think of the conversation to go on for about 45 minutes to an hour, unless obviously it's stated otherwise. Now when it comes to the panel, they generally consist of two to three people, all of them probably from different fields. If there are three people on the panel, the first one could be someone from the admissions committee. The second one could be a professor from the university. And the third one could be a PhD student, an alumni, or even in some cases, a second or a third year student of that particular program. Although explicitly nobody mentions the dress code of an interview, you need to know that your presentation will probably set an impression on the entire panel. Obviously, you don't necessarily need to be in a suit and jacket because it's not a black tie event, but also don't wear something very casual because you're not meeting out your friend for a chill evening. Maintain a proper level of professionalism and dress accordingly. It could be a formal shirt with trousers for men or a formal skirt or dress for women. If you want to add a coat, you can, but it's not mandated. As I mentioned earlier, think of this as a conversation happening between a group of people. So the first objective that you should have in mind is to take this opportunity and make the people in front of you get to know you better, understand your values, your personality and what makes you you. So try to keep the conversation interesting and the people hooked to your conversation and that will prove to be a total game changer. Also, when you are talking about something that you are passionate about, if the listener in front of you can see that passion in your eyes and in your voice, you're golden. What many applicants do, which I think would harm your case, is memorizing your answers for some questions. And when that same question is asked in the interview, the delivery is immediate and robotic and, inter and the interview panel can immediately know that this is a rehearsed and memorized answer. So prepare, but don't over prepare. Now before moving on to the next half of the video, let me just mention that this video is a small part of a series that I'm doing on business school application. Last week I made a video on how to write the best personal statement and then this and the next one would be on the interview and then the fourth one will be on how to make a resume for your college application. So make sure you are subscribed to know when the future videos are out. And if you have liked the video so far, then do hit the thumbs up icon so that the YouTube algorithm blesses me with more views. Now let's move on to the next half of the video the must do's and don'ts of the interview process. Now, when I was talking about the basics of the interview, I mentioned that you should think of it as a casual conversation between a group of people. However, the very first don't is to not think of this conversation as too informal or too casual. You should not talk about a story from your childhood, which has no relevance to your bigger picture, your motivation to pursue this program. That story is too informal for this conversation. The actual conversation part that I'm trying to convey here is trying to have an interactive discussion with a group of people and not making it a question answer series where the panel is asking you a set of questions and you are answering them like a robot without engaging them at all. Now, the second must do of the interview is to know as much as you can about the school and the program that you are interviewing for. Now the two basic levels of finding out more about the school and the program that you are applying for are number one going through the entire school's website to know what kind of events they are involved in. Uh, it could range from workshops they are organizing to speaking engagements and every other event. And after the school research check what that particular program is offering. The main courses, the electives, the student associations, the alumni meetups and everything that will help you achieve your personal and professional goals. And finally, the second level of finding more about the school and the program is contacting current students on LinkedIn. Message them to try to find about their day-to-day -day activities and if they agree, maybe on a call for about 15 to 20 minutes, trying to get a few answers to your general questions. Now, when it comes to the interview, use all the information that you have to focus on what you want to achieve, 
what you will get from the school and in return what you can contribute to your peers at the school also a very common thing that can happen with a lot of individuals and i am guilty of it as well is when we talk about something that we are passionate about we just keep on talking without ever noticing that whether the person in front of me is actually interested in that topic or not so the next don't of the interview process is not to get carried away when you are talking about something that you are passionate about try to engage the listener in front of you with a question or two if they answer vaguely then maybe it's time to move on from this topic but if they answer properly and engage you with that discussion it means they are actively listening and you can maybe speak a little more about this topic but in the general sense of an interview it's always better to move on to the next topic and not talk about a particular topic for too long and lastly every interview panel is different there is no one right approach to all the business school interviews maybe during one of your interviews you connect with a member of the panel about uh, football and then you talk about that for about 5 to 10 minutes but then in another interview you don't connect with any member of the panel on any such topic Uh, so the next don't here is to never take the same approach in all of your interviews uh, maybe what worked for you in one scenario may not work in the next scenario you have to be smart and quick on your feet to see how the people in front of you are responding which brings us to our last must do of the interview be genuine the interview panel in front of you consists of those people for a reason they are smart they have done interviews before and they can see right through you if you're trying to fake something and that can have a negative impact on your application you might be a deserving candidate but if you don't come across as genuine then you could be rejected so that brings us to the end of the video i hope you found it helpful and if you did do consider hitting that like button and also subscribing to the channel as mentioned earlier this video is a small part of the series i'm making on business school application so make sure you are subscribed to know when the future videos are out as always thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one